So, remember when we started the company? Early 19th century. 97. The late 19th century. Is that right? That's eight years ago. Yeah. We started the company in the late 19th century. <laughs> 1997. <laughs> and then we read this book called Creative Visualization, which really resonated with us. It was a really uh, great playground to test out the power of your mind. Everyone's creating their own reality all the time by the way they think. Changing your reality just by changing your thoughts. Tina was very adamant that if we were going to start the company, it should be based on these ideas. And what it tells you to do is to um, imagine this beautiful pink light kind of in the shape of a bubble is over your head and you put into it whatever it is that you want. Uh, for instance, on our first bubble we put in that we wanted to uh, travel around the world. Speak to as many people as we could about the healing nature of color and um, live like rock stars. In three weeks, literally, we got the first phone call. And we were months into it before we looked at each other and realized that it was exactly what we'd asked for. So we had instantly unbelievable success with the Pink Bubble. So after reading this book, we were thinking, wow, what kind of reality would we like to create? We wanted to bring more health and happiness um, into people's lives in any way, shape, or form. You know, the popular press is so fascinated with makeup companies for some reason. And, and we kind of took it and ran. We need to get these ideas out there so people can have as much success with them as we've had. And of course, the first form that that took was cosmetics, our color therapy nail paint, which then evolved to a full cosmetic line. As an art form, get into business and see how you can use these techniques to actually become successful. You put everything you want into the pink bubble and then you send it, you release it with love and it goes off into the universe and manifests. Tina and I didn't even realize at first that this was the opportunity of a lifetime. They say beauty is only skin deep, but don't tell that to Anthony Gill and Christina Bornstein, the brains behind cosmetic line, Tony and Tina. People are so used to the same model. You almost yeah. have to reinvent it to get any notice. The model that Gill and Bornstein invented was cosmetics that heal, and lots of people are buying into that concept. Tony and Tina, in fact, has grossed $17 million since its start in 1997. Instead of thinking of, you know, start opening a little stall in a market, we thought about having a cosmetic company that could compete against, you know, these big guys in department stores. And you kind of have to think of it in order to do it and start to believe it and start to visualize yourself doing it. Any kind of vibrational remedy is, is something that's going to help you bring more health and happiness into your life. And thus help um, push consciousness to another level. So all of our products, um, anything that we create always, always has the energy of trying to help you become the best person you can be. kitchen iced tea. Come with me. I love Diet Snapple and Diet Coke just like the next person, but it's not so good for you. I make my own blend of this great herbal iced tea. We have wild berry, raspberry zinger, lemon zinger, red zinger, and tension tamer. If you notice, I wrote love and I have a little heart on it. There have been studies made uh, by Dr. Emoto. It's really an amazing book called Messages from Water. And what they showed is that by giving water um, affirmations or certainly by writing on a jug of water, the molecules actually take on uh, the form and the energy of that word, like love. After three hours, you come out with this one. <laughs> 
so it's healthy and it's no caffeine and it tastes really delicious. Mmm. You know when they do, uh, you see naked photos and they do that pixelated thing on the genitals? I was trying to get that effect on that, I don't know if it works. When I'm painting, I'm not thinking, this means this. I'm thinking, I don't know what any of this means. And I find myself painting um, things from my childhood that I just thought were really cool. Hi, welcome to my bedroom. sure you have a sacred place um, or an altar space and it doesn't necessarily have to be religious at all it can just be things that you've collected over time this is my altar area and this is a singing bowl that is attuned to the sound of the heart chakra bathroom because it's your base chakra, the base energy point and you know you can really get some movement going on in there. Tina has really got me into taking baths. She has really made a stance about the Epsom salt. I'm sure she's talked about the Epsom salt. So this is my fantastic bathroom. Epsom salt transmutes negative energy into positive energy and it also helps to clear your body of any radiation or negativity or blocks that it's been holding on to. You can see I have uh, crystals um, that I keep in here for that are my special bath crystals and light so that the light comes under the water and it makes it kind of like a color therapy bath. Okay so this is my home workspace. I'm trying to be creative and I'm trying to um, you know, be fresh and new. And how can you do that if your environment is stale? You can't. So you have to have a lot of life around. So I have plants. This is my um, fountain, which I love. You can hear it trickling. It's very relaxing. This is my first official certificate for studying energy medicine. And I've logged over 50 hours so far, and I'm very, very proud of that. So I, said, I have to get a new um, certificate because I spelt my name wrong. It has an H. My name does not have an H in it. It's a lifelong challenge for me to get people to spell my name right. We're always looking for new and exciting ways uh, to, to bring you better tools into your life. We want to get into every aspect of living that can be thought of through a, a sort of an energetic feel. Whatever you need in your life to bring you health and happiness, we want you to come to Tony and Tina for that. That's the idea. That's the idea. Down the line. Down the line. We're working on uh, a new home book called The Vibrationally Correct Home. But what I kind of wanted to show you was just our vibe. And I think our vibe is very free form. It's meant to be very creative. Um, all the guidelines you could ever want, but again, it's coming back to your own intuition. I read something great in a feng shui book that said, uh, if it feels right, it is right, because nobody else knows what's right for you. Ah, yes, well, this is a glass, a colored glass, and I have them in a few different colors. And what you do is to solarize uh, water or any liquid, you pour liquid into the glass, and if I had some water in here and left it in the sunlight for a couple of hours, um, it's going to take on this pinkish purple energy, which is going to help promote laughter and giddiness and uh, a real trust in that internal voice that we all have. I don't know anything for certain, um, but when I practice these ideas of energy medicine, I, my health has never been better and my affluence has never been more abundant. The power of intention, the power of affirmation is a very tangible power that can create 
real change in your life. We've been living the last 10 years our dream, like living our dream. We're on this journey to find happiness and, and success and health and we want to share that with as many people um, as we can. It's an ongoing project, an art project. Yes, it's an ongoing begins. art project. I like it. I like it.